up, what's up guys? A lot been going on. Um, if you guys saw my last post on Instagram, you know, Shay's working on some stuff. We're super proud of her. I'll keep you guys posted on that as much as possible. Um, finally got the Jeep back too. Finally, it took like almost four weeks to get it back. And they did a really good job with the with the fixing of it and everything. Basically it looks like new. So I'm, I'm happy with that. I'll show you guys what that looks like in, in another um, in another video. But I did want to reach out. So there's a lot of companies that reach out to us to want to sponsor. A lot of them are lighting companies. And I usually don't reply. I've worked with uh, Socks Beam in the past. Really good relationship with them. Um, but there was one thing that I've actually been looking for because I think it's a great upgrade. I've got some videos on that. And that's LED headlights for the JL. So a company finally reached out and they said, hey, we have some, would you like to review them? And I said, absolutely. So I'd like to thank LED Factory Mart for sending these over. I'm gonna put the link um, in the description if you guys wanna pick up the set. So first thing I wanna do is just kinda of do an unboxing and then we'll do another video of the installation of them. I don't know if it's gonna be similar to the J JK because I haven't done a JL light installation. I'll show you guys how it's done, in case you guys have any questions. We'll get these hooked up. Again, this is my, besides rock rails, this is my favorite mod for Jeeps because the original halogen yellow headlights, they just suck. They're not very good, especially on the JK. They're yellow. It doesn't have a good beam. So upgrading to something like this, so like I said, I'm gonna uh, go ahead and uh, take them out of the box, see what I'm working with. Hopefully these are good. I've had really good luck with LED headlights in the past. The biggest thing is adjusting them. Don't be that guy that has LED headlights that point in the wrong direction and blinds everybody. Tori's upstairs sleeping, so I'm trying to be semi-quiet here. Pretty standard from there. All right, so let's take a look. I'm not using a table or anything because again, I'm trying to be quiet. Probably isn't working. Don't cut towards yourself, people. Learn from me. There you go. Got some standard. Like I said, LED Factory Mart, thank you for reaching out. Have some information. I think these have that colored halo, which I don't really use. I think that's freaking stupid. If you use them, it's totally fine. But I have no interest in making my headlights red, green, purple, blue, any of that stuff like a freaking razor owner. So we will not be using that function. Um, but it does look like you have an app to be able to adjust all of that. Should you so choose. Um, it'll go great with your angry grill. This is not our style. It's not how we do things. So it also actually has an installation guide, which is cool. So it does have step-by-step -step instructions. Um, pretty nice, basic. Move the grill, let's do the lights. Plug in the new headlights, install, connect the wiring of the daytime running light to the fuse box, easy enough, test the lights, adjust the brackets to make sure the lights are in the right direction, and then um, tighten everything and put it all back together. There you go. So this has some tips, all that good stuff, and uh, diagrams. Again, I probably won't be using the halo ring because I just don't like it. Um, get these for the LED headlight function, not for the halo. Let's take a quick gander. Also, just so reference, in case anybody's curious and doesn't know, you cannot use the JK lights on the JLs. They're two different sizes, nine inch versus seven inch. So these are the bigger headlights. I'm actually really excited about this. They look great. I like this style. They're freaking huge. These headlights are ginormous. And it uh, has everything we need in here. Looks like it's got all my wiring, connectors, Got some new springs and mounting for the adjustments. That's nice. And then obviously the LED light controller box right here. So again, I'm going to show you guys how these install. But outside of that, it's pretty basic, the headlight. The only problems I've ever had in the past was headlights fitting into the actual housing. It wasn't made for the right vehicle. But uh, this looks flush. Looks like everything's going to work. This feels standard. It feels exactly like all the other headlights I've bought have had and uh, has all the wiring and everything like that. So again, that's what she looks like. Oh, I'm making way too much noise. Rip it off like a band-aid. Anyways, that's what it looks like and uh, I'm excited to get these in. So again, I'm going to have the link for these below. And if you guys want them, want to pick them up or want more information, just let me know. And then I'm going to do an install video and show you what I think of them um, before and after. And again, for the money is best, one of the best installs you could do besides Rubicon Rock Rails.
Thanks again for watching. If you guys have any questions on just life, how everything's going with us, or just in general, let me know. But if you know, you know what's going on, and we're excited about it, and we're, we're doing the best we can right now. So, again, it's while you're sleeping, and we'll, we'll keep things trucking along. Thanks again for watching, guys.